Hello, it's been a long year, but we're here today in Nebraska. We're in Columbus, Nebraska today. Today we're in Columbus, Nebraska. Today we're in Columbus, Nebraska. Hey, today we're in Columbus, Nebraska. It's been a long year, let me tell you, but we're back. Last time you saw us, we were at Belmont Park, but today we're in Columbus, Nebraska. I wanted to take a moment to talk about the Triple Crown and American Pharaoh. It has been announced today, as a matter of fact, American Pharaoh is gonna run in the Travers, which is great. I think it's great that they're running this horse. So the day of the Belmont. First of all, I stayed home because my daughter had a dance recital. And I told her, I love you more than the Triple Crown. Unfortunately, she didn't know what that really meant. And I stayed home and I got to watch it on TV. And I gotta be honest, I really didn't want it to happen. I had all these weird feelings. And when it did happen, it was like my dad died all over again or something. It was just weird. It was a weird feeling. And then as I kind of digested it, the next day I realized it was all about the horse. And this was quite an incredible feat by an incredible animal. So it took me 24 hours to digest. I'm glad the horse won the Triple Crown. I'm here with Gary Schaefe, the track announcer here at Columbus Ag Park. Gary, how long have you been up here? Since 2004, actually lived in Columbus, left, moved to Omaha, and come back here and got the job at HBN Radio back here. I've been up in a lot of crow's nests like this, and this one's a little Spartan, although I did notice you have air conditioning up here. I've got to thank Chris Katulak. He was up here a few years ago, several years ago, when he took over for Dean Williams. They built this. So this beautiful thing I'm in right now is all thanks to Chris Katulak who's down at Remington now, he used to be on TVG, so thanks, Chris. How, how did you become interested in horse racing to begin with? I've had relation in horse racing. Uncle's a trainer, a couple of cousins married trainers, cousin's a trainer, and went to Exarbon when I was a kid, fawner, and just kind of followed ever since. So, got the bug from the relatives. Blame it on them. And how long is the meet out here? Just a 15-day meet this year, 16-day meet. Normally, they used to run about an eight-week meet. We'll do five weeks. And with uh, the way things are, without uh, the state of horse racing in Nebraska, where you don't have any any other gambling to help supplement the horse racing in Lincoln and Omaha, your two biggest cities don't have a live meet per se, then it makes it pretty tough. Can't compete with other forms of gambling. Okay, so when you draw on uh, your announcing skills, who are some of the announcers that were an inspiration to you? Well, you know, as a little kid growing up, I'd, be, I'd say Terry Wallace, who was a longtime guy at Exarbon, and then he was down at. Um, Oaklawn for years and still comes back and does the horsemen's meet, obviously hearing him and just race callers throughout the years, guys you'd see on TV, guys like Tom Durkin, you know. Okay, so if you had one track, your dream track, that you could call a race at, what track would that be? <laughs> oh, I mean, that would be tough. I would either say Saratoga or Oakland, probably Saratoga. But I would say if I had meets to go to Saratoga, then I would go to Del Mar, then probably go to Oakland. My where I'd like to be. Okay, one final thing, Gary. What's the skinny? I don't have any skinny. The only thing I can say today on today's card, bet whoever gets the lead. All right, well, thank you very much. You're welcome. So we went to the track, we had a good time, and while we were there, we remembered a couple of years ago when we went to Columbus for a parade and we had some strange footage left over from that day. We're here, waiting for Columbus Day's parade to start, waiting to see Jack. I think he's in the white convertible, Jay, coming up here. Oh, wait, that might, I think that's the queen. I'm sorry, I think the queen is. Is that him? Here he is, right there, man. This is him. Hey, Jack, what's up? They didn't have a horse for you to ride? What's going on? <laughs> We're going to go try to catch Jack a little later because we want to make sure he knows we love him. Really good. <laughs> okay, so Jack said he's got to get out of town in a hurry, and you can hear all the sirens and trains here to take him. But we're going to try to head him off with the pass. It's always good to see you. Enjoyed that. Uh, yeah, we drove all the way out here just to see you in the parade. 
and we're gonna really? go stop by. I never been to Columbus to the track, so we're gonna oh, go to the yeah, track. But that's why we're here to see you. I was in Columbus. I don't know. Well, God bless you. Thank you. Boy. Take care Thank of yourself. You. All right. Okay, I'll see buddy. you again. Okay. All right. Keep up the good work. Last time we talked to you, we talked a little bit about American Pharaoh. Since then, he's been defeated in the Traverse. I thought it was a good idea to put him second because even Secretariat couldn't win the Traverse. I don't know where we'll see you next, but I'm sure we'll see you sometime soon on the trackside skinny. Uh, lo siento mucho. Uh, mi español es un poquito malo, pero yo te amo. Muchos gracias. Adios. How's that? That's good. Yeah. That's cool, huh? Oh, yeah. We're good.